What's going on everybody? Good to see you. Welcome to another episode of Chef Lee Off Duty. I am Chef Lee and today I'm going to be making homemade pork fried rice Chinese style. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be a good video. It's going to be interesting. Uh, I'm going to show you how I do it. Uh, probably not going to be the same way as it would from a takeaway, but I'm not a takeaway. I'm at home. I'm using home equipment, so that, that's just the way I do it. <clears throat> So yeah, before I start, uh, please go to my Instagram, you know, you know the usual stuff, just do it please. Uh, it's helping out my channel, I'm trying to get to my first thousand subscribers, and if I have, uh, if, if I've entertained you in any way, uh, think about doing that, because it would be awesome for me, and it would really help out the channel. This is the third, this is the third time I've actually trying to shoot this video, because the last two times that I did it, something went wrong and it didn't record, so it's been very frustrating, so I'm going to hopefully... I'm going to hope that this is going to work today and it's not going to, nothing's going to happen where I'd have to scrap the footage because either the footage got corrupted or the last time actually the camera overheated. So hopefully that doesn't happen today. Fingers crossed. Uh, so yeah, we're going to get into it and have a good time. So sit back, relax, chill, watch. Uh, hopefully you learn something. Hopefully you enjoy it. Anyway, enough of me talking. We're going to get into it and I'll see you in a bit. Peace. Right, so as you can see, I've got a pan on boiling with, uh, it's boiling water, but I've got the rice in there. Uh, I've got 500 grams of plain white rice. Uh, the water is salted, because uh, I always salt my water when I'm boiling something, because it just helps with flavor. Uh, so yeah, that's it. So I'm just gonna uh, bring this down uh, until it's obviously cooked. And then I'm just gonna put it to the side and then just let it relax tomorrow, like I just said, everything will be uh, ready to go and that is just uh, a gravy that I've just made for, an for another dish so if you find right now the rice is cooked as you can see there's no more water left in the bottom of the pan now I'm just gonna put the lid on at a little slight angle let leave a little bit of uh, a little bit of space so that the hot air can come out and then have that cool down I'm just gonna push it to the back leave it that's it done for today uh, that's 500 grams of rice uh, and then just enough water to cover and a bit of salt just to give it a bit of flavor and then like I say tomorrow I'll finish it off and we'll go through it then so I'll see you tomorrow peace on my Instagram you will have seen me uh, have some lamb on uh, just slicing up some lamb uh, and that's the gravy for that so go and check out my Instagram it's uh, chef Lee off duty uh, yeah check out my Instagram Facebook and all that good stuff all right so it's the next day uh so we're just going to get straight into it and the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to marinate my pork uh my pork lardons uh i'm going to show you how i do that give you the measurements of how much i'm going how much of the ingredients that i'm going to use to marinate it in uh and then that's going to be left for a couple of hours just to soak in and so the flavor really gets into the meat so then when i add it to the rice it gives it a nice flavor and a nice uh, look so we're going to get into that so i will see you in a sec Right, so here they are my port lardons. There's some smoked ones. Quick and simple. Lock them in there. Beautiful. Right, then next to that I'm going to add... Right, so I'm going to add some dark soy sauce, a little dash. Uh, some light soy sauce, a little dash. Manuka honey, uh, about a teaspoon, some tomato ketchup, yes I know that's controversial, and two spoons of uh, caster sugar. So there's one, there's two, I prefer brown sugar but I ran out and I didn't realise until I was doing this so tomato ketchup, that's it. One spoon of Manuka honey. Dash of dark soy sauce. Dash of light soy sauce. And that's it. We'll just mix it all together. Right, so that'll be for a few hours in the fridge. 
And then when I'm ready to make my rice, when I'm ready to make my rice, then uh, I'll take it out and cook it off. So I'll see you later when I'm going to do everything else. So I'm now, uh, it's a few hours later and I'm going to make my rice. But first, before I do that, I always like to have some side things with my rice. Uh, so I'm going to have these, put them in the oven, let them do their thing. And then when these are just, just before they're about ready, I'm going to uh, make my fried rice. Might as well use all of them. All right. So it's going to go in the oven at gas mark 5 for about half an hour-ish. Right, next, for my curry sauce, I've got 500 ml of boiling water and then this curry paste, which I'm going to add to it. So it's a nice thick consistency. And then what I'm going to do, you just add a little bit of my own flavouring to it because I always have to. And it doesn't take too long, but I'm going to run into time lapse because it'll probably take about five or ten minutes. So I will time lapse it so it's only a few seconds for you. So I will see you in a sec. Right, so as you can see, it's now all come together. Let me find a spoon. So it's nice and thick. I have a quick taste. It's not bad, but uh, like I said, I'm going to season it. So, a little bit of chilli flakes, some crap black pepper. I need to get a new one of these, I think this one's nearly done. Definitely. What do you think? Yeah, definitely need to get a new one. And a little bit of salt. That's it, don't want to put too much in because the soy sauce that I'm going to be using is quite salty. Soy sauce is naturally quite salty anyway. And then this is just some some meat seasoning. Let's see if it'll focus. There you go. A little bit of that. When I'm happy with the taste, then what I'll do is I'll just move it to the back. And while the chicken is finished cooking, I'm going to do the rice. All right, let's have a taste. Mm, I've got some on myself. So yeah, I will just dab it on my finger. with that so now what I'm going to do is just move it over to the, the back burner literally so it'll just carry on while I'm doing the rice so as you can see it's gone over to the back burner and through the screen it always looks very very yellow but it isn't actually very yellow it's a it's a brown colour, you know, like you would get from the Chinese, but the camera always makes it look more yellow than it actually is. Uh, right, so. So, <clears throat> pardon me. So, to the rice, I've got a bowl of petit pois frozen and three large eggs as the base for my egg fried rice, well, pork fried rice, but I'm just going to lightly beat them. Here we go, that's that sorted, a little bit of sesame oil in the pan, turn this up a little bit more, right, so I want the oil to be quite hot, 
not quite smoking, but yeah, nearly there. And then get myself a spatula. Right, let me just elevate you a little bit more. Wrong one. Right. Here we go. There we go. That's a bit better, isn't it? Right, so. Move it round. Love sesame oil. It's got that very distinctive smell. If you know, if, if you've used sesame oil, you know that smell kind of, it's almost like a nutty smell. It's not as hot as I wanted it, but hey, it'll, it'll get hot. It? It'll cook. So, so it looks almost like an omelette. This green, this screen makes everything look really, really yellow. Around. This is a non-stick pan, so it's, I'm not too bothered about it. But I would like a, a proper wax. This is, as wax go, quite thick. Whereas uh, conventional wax are really, really thin. So the heat gets passed directly through to the food without too much hindrance. And ideally, I'd like a induction hub as well for this. Because you get the heat almost instantly, whereas... You have to wait a little bit for, for conventional gas. All right. So the egg's pretty much there where I want it. Next in with the peas. These are not going to take too long. Hopefully, this goes to plan. Because the last time I tried to do this, or the last two times I tried this, the camera overheated. So I've kind of had a bit more ventilation this time. So, and I've moved you away a little bit. So hopefully, that won't happen again. See that heat's died down now. What I would give for a watt burner right now. Ideally, you could use just fresh ones or fully defrosted peas, but I didn't think that far ahead. I'm off duty, so don't really have to think that much. He's jumping out all over the place. Where are you? There you go. Right, now the water's evaporating a little bit. Just gonna put in just a little bit more of the sesame oil. Next, in goes the rice. So like I said, this was cooked yesterday and just left to stand. For my experience, the next day rice is always better. And when you do go to a Chinese restaurant or a takeaway, this is what they do. They uh, cook the rice the day before and then let it stand. You know what I have forgot to do? To do the pork. So what I shall do is move this over to the back and let it just do what it's doing slowly, even though it should be done very quickly. And then I'm gonna fry off the pork. So move that there. Can't believe I forgot the pork.
And then to my rice over there, I'm going to add some dark soy sauce. And then some light soy sauce. Move that, move that around. This isn't the way I usually do it. I don't know why I forgot that, but this is how it's going to go today. So sometimes it doesn't go to plan. You just have to do it on the fly. Oh, and it's always good when the when the gas goes out. Right, let's try this again. Let's get this. And once this goes into that, it'll actually change the colour a little bit. And you see I haven't added any salt or any pepper to this yet. Because the flavour of that will go into this. This is almost done to be fair. I just want to get rid of my, all that liquid. As you can hear the rice is actually frying itself quite nicely. Right, now what I'm going to do is drain off the excess liquid out of that so it can crisp up just a little bit more. So that's my egg fried rice and this is the pork. Usually I'll do this one. <clears throat> Usually I'll do the pork first, then the egg, then the peas, then the rice. But for some reason, I didn't do it that way today. Now that that's ready, move that over to here, throw that in there to there. Right. You'll see this darken up just a little bit now. Just 
Dat is wel grappig. Now you probably can't pick it up on here because it's a lot lighter than it actually looks in real life. It's actually darkened up a little bit. Right, and there it is. My homemade pork fried rice. Right, so now it's all done. My homemade pork fried rice. Right, so I'm glad it's actually filmed properly uh, because this is the third time of making this video, as I said at the start, uh, because of technical issues and the camera overheated. But anyway, it turned out better than I hoped because I did it in the wrong order. Uh, I should have done the pork first, but hey, that's just what happens sometimes. Anyway, it, it tasted amazing. Uh, my wife really liked it. It was, it was, it was really tasty. Uh, it's one of the dishes that I make regularly now because... Uh, during lockdown, when we couldn't go out for uh, a takeaway or anything like that, we decided to make it at home. Quick, simple, easy. Anyway, please like, share, and subscribe. I will leave my social media links on the page, on you know, on the on the screen here somewhere, uh, so you can see. Leave a comment if you like. Um, still trying to get to my first thousand subscribers, so if you if you want to subscribe, please do. It'll help out the channel and help me grow. Uh, and make this my full time job, hopefully. Anyway. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.